Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with an update video today, an after the storm video if you like. As you can see, the sun is out, but it is still very, very cold. Hopefully things are starting to get back to normal. We know that Madrid, capital city, has been paralyzed for the last few days. This area as well is also under quite heavy snow still. As you can see behind me here, we'll just turn the camera around a bit so you can see. We've still got quite a bit of snow accumulated here. I don't know how long that's going to take before it disappears. The temperatures, as I said, are quite cold and they're going to be cold for the next few days. But uh, hopefully by the end of the week, temperatures are going to start to rise and uh, all of this snow here should start to disappear. That's what I'm hoping for. Whether it happens is another story. Now, as you can see behind me, this house here is snow free at the moment. No snow there left on the roof. What's on the ground is another story. But we'll go outside and see what the street looks like at the moment. I spent most of yesterday clearing snow, especially in front of the garage here, just in case there's an emergency and we need to get the car out. That's what I spent my time doing yesterday and it was hard work. Now, as I mentioned the other day, the country virtually came to a standstill on Saturday. Yesterday was also a difficult day. The main airport here in Madrid, Barajas, was closed. That has reopened today and also train services have also started to open again. Yesterday, there was a huge effort to try to get some of the main streets open before this freeze sets in because what they're worried about now, of course, is that the snow turns to ice and it makes it almost impossible to travel anywhere in this part of Spain. Remember that this is a problem that's not only affecting the Madrid community, but also a lot of the surrounding communities as well. For example, Castilla-La Mancha, Castilla-Leon have also been affected and lots of other parts of the country. Aragon is another place that has also suffered quite heavily as a result of the snow. And there's also talk today that they might declare Madrid a disaster area. As we know, school has been cancelled today and tomorrow, and they're also talking about extending that cancellation, maybe until the end of the week, because it's not going to be easy to remove all of this ice. In the background now, you can probably hear people with shovels trying to clear the accesses to schools. We have a school across the street there. We'll go out and have a look at that in a minute and see how many people are working there. There are about five or six people working earlier today to try to clear the snow, but I think they've started their lunch break and won't be back until this afternoon. You can get an idea of the amount of snow that we still have sitting here. As I said before, not sure how long this is going to take before it disappears. I'm hoping that it's going to be this week sometime, but uh, you never know. Now we'll go outside now and check out what's going on in the street. As you can see, I've cleared this area away here. There's a little bit of ice formed there because the uh, water drips off the roof of the garage. So that's a little bit dangerous. And as you can see, it's quite icy over here as well. We'll just go and have a look. That's quite icy there. So I'm going to have to put down some salt if I want to get the car out of the garage. But that's what the street's looking like at the moment. You can see up there. We'll turn the camera around and have a look down here. This is where I had to put all the snow yesterday when I was clearing this space. There's a bloke walking up the hill here with ski sticks. And there's somebody over there at the school cleaning away trying to get everything up and running before schools open again. But as I said, nobody knows exactly when that is going to be. Not really sure how dangerous it is to ride a bike at the moment, but uh, good luck to that bloke. Now we'll have a look here at the side of the house and we can see that there's still a bit of snow piled up here in the sun there. So hopefully that's melting away and you can hear the action here. I'll just get closer to the drain of the snow melting on the roof. We've still got these icicles up here. Somebody told me the other day that they're called icicles. I had no idea. And if you look down there at the end of the path, you'll see that there are a couple of trees or bushes that have snapped because of the heavy snow that they had on top of them. So we'll go around the back in just a moment and have a look at the damage there. Okay, so this is what the back garden looks like at the moment. We can see over there those bushes that collapsed under the weight of the snow. I couldn't save them. I tried to save them, but it was impossible. There was nowhere to shovel the snow. And uh, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to write those bushes off and plant some new ones come spring. So if the government is going to declare Madrid a disaster area, I think I'll have to declare some parts of this garden also a disaster area. We can see over here as well that I managed to save that one. That was bent over in the snow as well, but I uh, managed to get it off. I went trekking in the garden there through the snow and uh, managed to get the snow off that one. So that one is saved. And there were a couple of other ones over there as well that I managed to save. Have a look around here. You can see that there's still a big cap of snow sitting up there. 
That tree branch up there will most likely snap in the next few days. And uh, down here, I've cleaned the snow off the table there. But uh, as I said, not sure when this snow is going to go away. And as you can see there, there's another bush that has collapsed under the weight of snow. And uh, unfortunately now turning to ice, I imagine. So that's what the back garden looks like at the moment. I want to say thanks again to people that gave me tips on how to deal with the snowstorm. I have never had experience with something like that, but there were plenty of people out there that gave me tips, advice on how to deal with the snow, especially on branches. I managed to get that off, and on other areas where I thought snow was gonna be a little bit dangerous, managed to get it off thanks to your tips, and also the tips about clearing the paths and putting down salt before it turns to ice. Thanks guys for those tips. So that is where we are at regarding the snow situation in Spain. The storm has finished. The snow is now turning to ice and it's still gonna be dangerous for a couple more days. We still have that other problem around at the moment as well, that health crisis, that health situation, which has been dominating our lives for the last nine months or so. That's not going anywhere. Case numbers are increasing here in Spain. Restrictions are getting worse as well. I mentioned yesterday that the Madrid community has decided to close various areas, confine parts of the population, something like 1.2 million people currently confined. This part of Rivas Bathia Madrid is not confined, but there is a part not far away that is, because this is an area that is divided into three different health zones, or basic health areas as they call them here, and they have decided to confine one health zone in this particular area. And basically all over the country at the moment, more and more restrictions are coming into place. Andalusia, I mentioned yesterday as well, Valencia, Catalonia, the Balearic Islands, you name it, more restrictions because the health situation is not getting better. In fact, it's getting worse. The Christmas effect is now starting to come into play and the situation is not looking good. There's also been some problems in recent days regarding the vaccine. The vaccine hasn't been able to be delivered. There's been a bit of a holdup due to the snow. So I don't know how far this current holdup is gonna set the vaccination plan back. So a bit of an inconvenience there, but hopefully things are not held up for too long. I was also planning to go shopping today but I don't think that's a very good idea. I don't think there's going to be too many supplies on the shelves at the moment. Might have to wait a couple more days before things start getting back to normal there. I think we've got enough food to last a couple of days. So maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, I'll hit the supermarket and see if I can pick up some supplies. People are being warned against using their car, so I won't be taking my car to the supermarket. I'll try to get there by foot and uh, hopefully I won't have too many dramas. On that note, I'll start to wrap the video up. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Debate the situation out as you normally do. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Hasta luego from Snowy Spain.